Hi there. I thought I would go over a real quick tutorial here on the transsulfuration pathway and the detox pathways. And so um, let's just look here real quick. We have the folate, methionine, and transsulfuration pathway. This is kind of these three connected together. There's a lot of other ones that connect here. But here's where you see you have the MTHFR and down here at the bottom, um, that's the big one we hear, MTHFR all the time, and detox, methylation, and this is how it's connected here. So it goes around the MTR um, here in the B12 cycle, makes that appear to the methionine, we get to the SAMe, comes around eventually to homocysteine. Homocysteine can either keep going around in this cycle and keep this cycle spinning, or it can go down here through our CVS gene and get down into our detoxing cycle, the transsulfuration, that's where we have the glutathione. So let's look a little bit closer here at the glutathione. And you know, right up here is that homocysteine where it comes in. We've got all these different cofactors that it needs for this system to work, like B6, uh, a lot of B6, zinc, iron, ATP, magnesium. We've got selenium over here. So we see this comes all the way down. We see cysteine here kind of goes off over here to this other here to the left. You're going to have like your sulfates and sulfites. It's going to go process through those and go out through the urine. And we also come down here to the glutathione recycling, and that's where we're going to start getting rid of the toxins. So we need all these things working together because if we have a lot of uh, glutathione and the glutathione is not recycling, it's going to have a negative feedback. So it's going to kind of have like that off-on switch. It's going to have signals saying, hey, we got too much. We don't need any more. So then it's going to shift things to another pathway. So that's why it's really important when we are looking at supplementing for whether it's for the methylation cycle, whether it's for neurotransmitters, for detox, that we really look at the big picture and look at the cofactors that are involved. Um, before we start just, um, you know, giving glutathione or giving whatever it happens to be, giving um, melatonin, for example, in our neurotransmitters, we need to look and make sure that why is the toilet clogged up to begin with? Because if we just keep adding more things to it and don't unclog it first, it's going to create a big mess. Um, and especially when we are talking about our detoxing, because that's where we can start having now the toxins recycling. We've got several different phases in our uh, liver, the detox, the stages in that. And so if they, things get stuck, they basically get kind of broken apart and they're very, very toxin toxic in this middle stage. So we've got to get them all the way through that detox process. And it's that second last part there in our liver where we have the, uh, the, the um, glutathione is taking things out. So we really need that part of our liver phase uh, working. So that's basically whenever you're looking at detoxing, whenever you're looking at supporting methylation, supporting those kinds of things, make sure you are looking at the cofactors. So this is some charts I really like from uh, Ben Lynch, his um, pathway planners. And I think the prices have come down a lot on these now. Um, so it's really, really handy to have whether you're a practitioner or whether you're not, whether you're just a person who's really after to take charge of your health. These are some great, great resources to have. When you look at these, we can see here, in the green are cofactors, and that means this is things that our body needs for those pathways to work. So if we are deficient here in, in magnesium or ATP, guess what? We can't get to that glutathione recycling process. If we are deficient in B6, we're gonna have a lot more difficulty even getting this whole system to work to begin with. Uh, magnesium, I and mean, we're gonna see zinc, magnesium, selenium, molybdenum, um, copper, I mean, all these different you know nutrients that we hear about, all these micronutrients that we hear about are vitamins and minerals, this is why they are so important because this is what keeps these cycles running. This is the fuel that our genes need for the, these different pathways, for these enzymes to work. Um, so just I uh, hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do have a genetic um, package you guys can look into. I just uh, started offering that where we're going to look at the genes, put our genes into context. And the resource that I'm using uses 15,000 gen genetic SNPs that they report on. So we're going to have pretty much all the SNPs that we can possibly think of um, to look at and see where do these things fit into the bigger equation of that. Where a lot of these more common um, genetic companies that you're going to hear about all the time, they don't report all the really the pertinent SNPs or leaving out a lot of the SNPs that we really need to know, hey, what's going on here in some of these cycles. On top of that, they sell out to pharmaceutical companies. So this is very confidential. Um, and has a, a really great amount of information. But I just want you guys to know that whenever you do get back any genetic reports, whether it's me or somebody else, please, please, please put those things into context. Just because you have a SNP, don't go out supplementing because of that. Just because you have a, a CBS that don't run out and go get a whole bunch of B6. You have to look at things in context. We overlay our symptoms. We also overlay the test results. The test results are what tell us are these genes expressing, especially things like an organic acids test is going to say, hey, this is what's going on. These are the metabolites left over from these processes. And so we can get a lot of clues as to whether things are going really, really fast or they backed up. 
So please don't just, you know, run out and go grab a, a supplement because we have a genetic snippet somewhere. Cause I mean, that can really cause a lot more problems. Um, and you know, just please don't do that. So that's pretty much it. You can always reach out to me. Um, if you want to schedule a, a consult me, I do offer free consults. It's the functional perspective.com forward slash schedule. And that's T as in Tom, H E functional perspective.com forward slash schedule. I will talk to you guys later. You all have a great day. Take care.